Introducing the Nile Alternative Fixation System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. The Nile Alternative Fixation System is intended to provide stabilization between the spine and the rod and to allow for reduction, translation, compression, and distraction while sparing the anatomy. Position the patient for a posterior approach. Prepare the lamina for band passage by removing at least 5 millimeters of the ligamentum flavum on both the cephalad and caudal ends of the lamina. An assortment of clamps, hooks, and screws is available with this product. For the purposes of this demonstration, Mesa Deformity System utilizing a 5.5 mm rod will be shown. The Nile Alternative Fixation Band has a 50 mm length leader on one side and a 110 mm length leader on the other side. Shape one side of the leader into a C-shape. The Nile Alternative Fixation Bands are color-coded to indicate orientation. Special care should be taken when passing bands during sublaminar use. Carefully pass the bent leader underneath the lamina caudal to cephalad. It is recommended not to twist the band during the passage. To avoid pushing the band into the dura, maintain upward pressure against the anterior aspect of the lamina by pulling up the tip of the band while advancing the malleable leader. When the tip of the leader is visible on the other side, grab the tip with leader forceps or insert the leader hook into the hoop of the leader tip for a more stable passage of the band. Repeat the steps if additional bands are needed. The bands may be laid outside of the wound until ready to attach to the clamp. Next, attach the clamp to the tensioner. Make sure that the pin above the feet of the tensioner is in line with the laser marking located on the sides of the claw. If the pin is not in line with the laser marking, turn the gold knob on top of the tensioner clockwise to bring the pin up or counterclockwise to bring the pin down. Push the tensioner down on the clamp. An audible click will be heard when the clamp is engaged. After all the fixation points are in place, the rod is selected and cut to an appropriate length. Place the rod over the screws and or hooks. Confirm that both ends of the band are positioned underneath the rod. Then apply crickets and tensioners where desired to hold the rod in place. When using more than one clamp and or cricket, applying all crickets and tensioners first allows for sequential reduction reducing stress on individual segments and optimizing the correction. Once all the clamps are attached to the tensioners, pass the bands through each clamp. To ensure smooth passage of the bands through the clamp, confirm that the band set screw is raised. Ensure that both leaders are straight and stack them on top of one another. Pass both leaders simultaneously through the clamp from the open end. Hold the distal ends of the band with one hand applying slight tension and slide the clamp tensioner assembly down along the band toward the rod. Push the clamp onto the rod. An audible click will be heard when the clamp is properly engaged. Reduce the claw of the tensioner by turning the gold knob clockwise until tight. This will secure the clamp onto the rod. Push the round button on the side of the carrier and slide the carrier down as far as possible to maximize reduction capability. To attach the band to the tensioner, overlap the bands and insert the band simultaneously into the latch. Fasten the band by flipping the lever upwards to lock the band to the carrier. Before starting any reduction maneuver, provisionally tighten the rod set screw through the set screw hole labeled R, then reduce the tensioner by turning the silver knob clockwise. If additional reduction is required, provisionally tighten the band set screw through the hole labeled B to hold tension and release the bands by flipping the lever down. Push the button on the side of the carrier and slide it down along the threads. Lock the band onto the tensioner again and loosen the band set screw. Repeat the reduction maneuver. Once desired band tension on the band is achieved, first final tighten the rod set screw through the set screw hole, then final tighten the band set screw. To remove the band from the tensioner, flip the lever on the carrier down and disengage the band. Remove the tensioner from the clamp by turning the gold knob counterclockwise. Gently pull the tensioner out of the wound. The excess band is cut one centimeter from the clamp. Using electrocautery, burn the free extremities of the band to prevent fraying. Nile Alternative Fixation System from K2M. Complex Spine Innovations.